Hi, everyone. Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market. You know, there are a lot of investors out there that are looking to generate income, but in a safe way, without having to worry about losing their money, especially in this crazy stock market. But they're intimidated to invest in bonds because they've never done it before. Well, let me tell you something. Buying bonds, it's easy, like Sunday morning. That's why I'm easy. Let's start off by talking about some important differences between stocks and bonds. When you buy a stock, you expect the stock price to go up and sell it at a profit, buy low and sell high and all that. You may also be investing because of the dividend to collect some income along the way, but ultimately you are expecting the price to go up and you'll sell that at a profit. With a bond, while you certainly won't mind if the price goes up, that's not the goal. With a bond, after you've bought the bond, you're simply aiming to collect income and then get your money back at maturity. A bond is very simply a loan, and you are lending money to a company, a government, or some other organization. So if you buy a U.S. Treasury, you are lending money to the U.S. government. If you buy a bond from IBM, you are lending money to IBM. And like any loan, you collect interest, and at the end, you expect to get your principal paid back. How much will you get paid back? Most bonds are in increments of $1,000. So that's what you'll get paid back at maturity. Now, that's regardless of whether you paid $1,000 or not for the bond. Whatever, doesn't matter what you paid for the bond, you'll get $1,000 back. So if you were able to buy a bond cheap, let's say for less than $1,000, you make a capital gain in addition to the interest that you're paid. If you bought it at $1,000, then you simply get your money back at maturity. Now, to buy a bond, you just go on your broker's website and look for fixed income or bonds. You can type in the name of the bond or a QCIP. A QCIP is like a stock ticker symbol, but for a bond. And a QCIP has nine characters made up of both letters and numbers. Now, let me show you an example of how we buy a bond. So for this example, I'm going to use Fidelity's website. So we go to Fidelity, you'd log in. Then you click on News and Research and scroll down to fixed income bonds and CDs. Okay, so now what we'll do is, let's say we know that we wanna buy a bond from Delta Airlines. You can see here the default is a QCIP, but we don't know which bond we wanna buy. So we'll scroll down to corporate, and then we'll type in Delta. And Delta Airlines. Okay, now we'll scroll down. We'll take a look at the different bonds that they have available. So in this case, let's take a look at this one. This is a Delta Airlines bond, has a 2.9% coupon. That means you'll get paid 2.9% on $1,000. So you'll get $29 per year in interest. But when we look at the price, the price here is 93.616. And that means that you'll actually pay $936.16. You look at the bond price and you multiply it by 10, or you simply move the decimal over one place to know exactly how much you'll pay. So you'll pay $936.16 for this bond that matures in 2024. But remember, at maturity, you get $1,000 back. So you'll make $65.00 at maturity on the bond. So when you look at the yield to maturity, and this is a very important figure when you're looking at bonds, it says 4.689. That is the average annual total return over the time that you own the bond. So even though the coupon, the interest that you got paid was 2.9%, because you paid less than $1,000, you're gonna have a capital gain at the end, you make 4.689% on your money, which in today's very low interest rate environment is really not too bad. And then you just click on buy, and then on the next screen, you'll enter how many bonds you want to purchase and the price if it's different than what you saw on your screen. And that's it, you place the order and you're the owner of some bonds. Now, one thing you should know is that not every broker will have every bond available. So unlike stocks, which are bought and sold in a central marketplace, 
Bonds are often sold out of a broker's own inventory. So if they don't have the bond that you want, they may not show it as available. So in that case, you just call the broker, you tell them that you want the specific bond that you're looking for, and then they will go out into the marketplace and find it for you. And they'll give you a quote and you can decide whether you want to buy or sell it. Other than that little wrinkle, it's pretty easy to be on your way to earning reliable and safe income. Now, if you want to learn more information about how you can use bonds to play defense in this crazy market, just click on the link below. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. I'll see you next week.